Hi there, I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com and this is my smart American accent training. Welcome to our Word of the Day series where each day we look at a new word or words in American English and help you to pronounce them correctly as well as to integrate them into your fluent personal and professional speech. Today's word was a request uh, from one of our viewers and I appreciate this request. It's actually a quite a good word to look at and the word, it's a valuable word, and the word is valuable. So let's look at how to pronounce this. And what I want to talk about for this word is the correct pronunciation and then the many additional correct pronunciations that you'll hear Americans use. So in the dictionary, when you look up the word valuable, you'll see four, a four syllable, you'll hear and see that it's four syllables. You may not see it. You'll hear it if you listen to a recording in an online dictionary. And what you'll hear is it'll sound like vowel, vowel a, first syllable stress, that's a long syllable. And then you, that um, you in this word is one that has the glide, y and u, you. And then we have the a, uh, the schwa. And then finally, my last syllable, bull, which almost has no vowel sound. It's a syllabic L. We have a lot of uh, word of the day videos with words with syllabic L, and I have a video to help you with that. So many of these patterns we've talked about in other videos, and those are important things to know about for this word as well, um, that the U says a glide U and not just U, and that the bull, bull is uh, like, kind of like a schwa, kind of like bull, but very short on the vowel, bull, bull, going right from the B to the lifted dark L. I also have a video about dark L and syllabic L, as I said. So that would be four syllables, valuable. But in real speech, um, I think Americans rarely say valuable. That sounds too constrained. We have a tendency to reduce this word. And there's a couple of different ways that that happens. I personally think that if I'm not stressing the word valuable, valuable, that I change this U to a Y, valuable. And we do that in regular speech as well. If I'm saying, um, um, are you going to go? I don't say it that way. I say, are you, are you, are you gonna go? U often gets reduced to Y with a schwa. Um, so still I would have my stressed val and I would do valuable. And I would leave out this schwa and go right from the ya to the bull, valuable. Especially if I'm saying that's valuable information, that's valuable um, knowledge, it's valuable to know that. Um, then I'm reducing down from four syllables, valuable, to valuable. Redu reduce vowel, dropped syllable. I also think that I and other Americans will say val valuable, valuable, where I still keep that um, U, clear U, and again, that schwa, the U uh, drops off. So then again, three syllables, valuable. I think it's valuable to know different pronunciations. It's valuable to, um, it's a very valuable object. Um, I would say this is the one probably to go for. Uh, because it's closest to valuable, so you'll probably be able to do it more easily. But you really don't necessarily want to do valuable, valuable, because it's harder to say, it's more cumbersome, and it doesn't contribute to fluency in your speech. Um, so practice that, valuable, valuable, and then begin to use it in phrases like I was modeling before. It's valuable to practice. It's valuable to know the dictionary definition or the dictionary pronunciation versus what you'll really hear Americans saying. Sometimes that's why you have difficulty with pronouncing a word, that you look it up in the dictionary and even though that's not incorrect to say valuable, you don't hear Americans saying it and so your brain has a hard time saying, I don't really think that's what I'm hearing. Also the word valuable has some difficult patterns with that letter U and that BLE. So thank you very much for the suggestion of valuable. We'll be back again tomorrow with another word of the day, another request from you. 
If you have a request for a word to be covered in our Word of the Day series, please feel free to leave it in the comments for this video or any of my videos. I do go through and check all of those and I have a running list, many videos yet to come in our Word of the Day series. I also invite you to join me on Fridays for our free live question and answer class. And in those classes, you can ask for help with pronunciation on specific words, on patterns. You can tell me what you've been working on and what you need extra help with. And it's a great opportunity to hear me answer your questions live. So I look forward to seeing you then. That'll be on Friday at 12 o'clock Seattle time, three o'clock Eastern time. And you can also always watch the replay of those. And if you're watching on Facebook, you can watch and leave um, your questions in the comments on Facebook. And I do go through and answer those live as the re replay and rebroadcast is going on. Thanks so much for being a part of speechmodification.com. Remember, if you want to sound American, you can do it. Speechmodification.com. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.